Hi there, thanks for joining us tonight. Well, in just four short years, there will be a new bridge to the South Shore to replace the Champlain. And today we have a much better idea of what it will look like. A huge structure. It'll feature six lanes for cars, two for public transit, and one for bikes. Tim Sargent's been on the story all day, joins us now live. Tim, we're hearing more about the bridge, but once again, there's no consensus on the contentious issue of tolls. That is the number one divisive issue, Jamie. Indeed, late this afternoon, Montreal Mayor Denny Coderre held a news conference saying he's trying to find common ground with the federal government, including Infrastructure Minister Denny LaBelle, to, uh, in order to build this new bridge that will eventually replace the Champlain. Both sides agree there's consensus that a new bridge is needed. It's of extreme economic importance, not just for Montreal, but for all of eastern Canada. It represents about $20 billion worth of annual trade, so it is clear that a new bridge is needed for a new modern economy. But the big issue, as you mentioned off the top, is tolls. Denny LaBelle, the federal infrastructure minister, wants and insists and is adamant that new tolls will be added on this bridge, while his counterpart, Denny Coderre, the mayor of Montreal, is equally vehemently opposed to any kind of tolls because he says once you put them there, you got to put them everywhere. So this is the one issue that has them miles apart. Denis Coderre isn't mincing words. He vehemently opposes tolls on the new bridge for the St. Lawrence River. If you put a toll there, you have to do it everywhere. Coderre fears tolls will lead to massive traffic congestion as many motorists will try to take other bridges to avoid paying. And it could damage an already fragile Montreal economy. It's not just a Montreal or a Quebec issue. It is also a Canadian issue. Economically, it is an economic issue. And since the beginning of the process, we said that there will be a toll on the bridge, and that's still the same thing. Denny LaBelle is equally adamant. He insists a new toll is needed to help pay for the construction costs, tagged between 3 and $5 billion. We will work with them in partnership, and they know since the beginning there will be a toll on the bridge. The new bridge is slated to be built just east of the existing Champlain. There will be one level consisting of six lanes for traffic, two more lanes reserved for public transit, likely a light rail train system, and an area reserved for cyclists and pedestrians, all to be delivered by 2018. I'll wait to be excited until I see it. The new bridge is supposed to be a public-private partnership, meaning a private company will initially pay for the construction and maintenance costs. They're, they're recommending public-private partnership, which is the way to go, because our governments just do not have the money right now in, in their hands to build the bridge as we used to do in the old days. Engineering professor Syed Mirza supports the federal plan, including reintroducing tolls if the money is used to pay for the bridge's construction and maintenance costs. And I don't think anyone, including myself, would like to come on a bridge that is not maintained properly and there is a risk of its, uh, its failure. While everyone waits for the new replacement bridge to be built, work to maintain and repair the existing Champlain Bridge continues and authorities insist it is safe and the public doesn't need to be worried when they travel over it. We have the technical teams in place in order to face uh, whatever challenges uh, that uh, the existing bridge might present to us. Hundreds of millions of dollars in maintenance and repair costs may be needed to keep the existing bridge upright, which is why so many are so anxious to see a new bridge built quickly and especially safely. Now, Jamie, Montreal Mayor Denny Coderre will, does have a scheduled meeting with Prime Minister Stephen Harper on January 23rd. We'll be talking about a whole host of issues, but one of them, you can bet, will certainly be future tolls on a future bridge to replace the Champlain one. It's one that uh, Coderre says, uh, as you know, he's adamantly opposed, but pardon the pun, the two are going to somehow have to try to bridge the gap and find some sort of agreement because it doesn't necessarily threaten the future bridge, but it can threaten the timing of this very ambitious schedule, which is to have it built by 2018. Jamie, mm. back to you in we the hope that, Yeah, we hope that doesn't happen. I'm not pardoning right. that pun, Tim. You're not pardoned. <laughs> Good okay. story, though. Thanks a lot.